This is John Cale and I'm at Rough Trade and I've been here this evening doing a talk with Matthew and Richard. First time in Brick Lane, I gotta go out shopping now. Entered the city on the night I felt that something was wrong Welcome to Rough Trade East and our conversation with John Cale. I did want to start by asking you, John, something about noise. How can noise open up uh, the way someone hears music? The first person that drew my attention to the difference between noise and quiet was John Cage. European culture kind of ingrained in everybody that the concert hall was sacrosanct and you went in there and you, and you sat and you tried to co- focus on um, and you had to be quiet and listen to the music and that's the only way to really enjoy the music which he pointed out was a fallacy because you can't get to that point anyway I mean even if you get to a, qu- a quiet room an anechoic chamber for instance you hear two noises you hear a high-pitched whine and a rumble and he figured that, that the high-pitched whine was the nervous system and the rumble was the blood going around your veins. So there's really no, no way out of it. I wonder if the global population has ever had as many people who wear headphones as now. There must be more people listening to music on headphones than ever before. So that must be doing something to the way they're processing it. Yeah, the perspective on things. Yeah. Weird things happen when you wear headphones for a long time. When I, when I did the dark days in Essen, live with the music, we had the audience walking around this gigantic exhibit and they had earphones on. And what it did to the audience was they just kept watching each other. Noise really is like a sat nav for your, for your view of what you're looking at and what you're listening to. 